with the release of the Marvels right around the corner, of course, everybody associated with the film and past interviews and comments are brought back up to the forefront because, well, Brie Larson said thing that we didn't understand or lied about. Surprise, surprise. We recently talked about the fact that Brie Larson looks like she wants out of the MCU due to all the toxicity and hate. Well, Samuel L. Jackson, aka Nick Fury, to the rescue with this one. Okay, let's get this one out of the way. If you yourself don't think Brie Larson is great as Captain Marvel, that's fine. I honestly don't think she was that great in Captain Marvel because she had to play a emotionless warrior that was brainwashed. It was literally part of the plot of the film. She showed a little bit more emotion in other appearances and of course, well, if you look at it now with the Marvels, she looks to be actually, well, more acting, smiling and having fun. You know, because the story has moved on past um, her being a brainwashed soldier. So not liking her has nothing to do with hating her completely like some people. You guys remember, after some comments she made, people clipped specific things and literally reframed what she was saying to be like she hates all men, which she never said. It got a lot worse when all these same people were literally following her and anything she would do, any photos she would do, they would like go spam them. Remember she was in like a car commercial and they would enforce send their mindless drone dweeb fan base to hate and downvote the commercial just because it had Brie Larson in it. That's the ones that are considered toxic. Not the people who are just like, ah, I don't like Captain Marvel. I didn't like the movie. That's fine. It's not really the highest film on my list either. It's in the bottom half of the MCU. But I wasn't out there wishing death on her like many people. So in her reluctance to play Captain Marvel and all that and seeing all the backlash, Sam Jackson took it upon himself to uh, explain to her the situation. And he said when Brie called him, she was like, hey, look, this whole Marvel situation, what about it? Like, it's going to get a lot of backlash. And look at what it has done. And he said, and I quote, she's not going to let any of that stuff destroy her. These incel dudes who hate strong women or the fact that she's a feminist who has an opinion and expressed it, everybody wants people to be who they want them to be. She is who she is and she's genuinely that, end quote. Now this has naturally gotten him hate and her more hate, which again, I don't get. Fine, if you don't like what she's saying, okay. But why constantly talk about it to nauseam and go harass her on everything else? Again, how pathetic were people to chase her to other videos and projects and downvote and literally attack people in those comments and any posts about her? I mean, that's literally like pathetic incel behavior. So him coming out and saying this and defending her, it's literally there. The evidence is all there, right? Remember, I hate Secret Invasion. I hate Thor Love and Thunder. How many times have I gone personally after the people responsible for those? Never. Still love Taika as a director. I just think he went in the wrong direction with Love and Thunder. I still love all the actors in all these projects. You know, Samuel Jackson, it's not his fault Secret Invasion is absolute garbage and the worst MCU project ever. It's not any of the writers or directors' fault that the thing fell apart because Marvel Studios didn't know how to run TV. It's just not. So I'm not hating them, you know, but some people are convinced because they're gullible by these cult of personality people who run channels and blogs and websites that focus on hate because, let's be real, hate drives more clicks than positivity. And that's just true. And it's kind of sad that it's resorted to this. And what he's saying is, in my opinion, 100% valid. He's calling out the incels how he sees it.